This is the sixth video in the series for Microsoft Word 2013 and this video I'm going to talk about explaining it to you headers and footers and how to apply different headers on different pages. So I'm going to start with the blank document and I want to type some words up so what I'll do is I'll just type equal R A N D RAND and then put a bracket and put 10 comma 10 and close the bracket. That means give me random words. I want 10. The first 10 is for paragraphs and 10 is for lines. So I hit enter. So now I've got three pages. If you look on the left hand side on the bottom, it will tell you how many pages you have and how many words. So if I scroll up, this is page two and then I have page three. So I've got 10 different paragraphs with 10 different lines in it. So what I want to talk about is about in the insert tab. I want to talk about headers and footers and we'll also talk about the page numbers things. So if I want I can click on headers and I can choose the different styles of headers. Now if I did not want a header on page one then or a different type of header on page one so I can just come down to page two so I click here because I want a header on page two. So it's better to come here and then I go to header and I'll choose this type of a header right now. There are three columns. I can type three different things in it. So I click it. Now, you see I'm in header and footer tools. I'm in the design of that and I can close it when you are done so that you can go back to your actual document. So I'll click here and say I wanted to put my name and up here I wanted to say something else like chapter one or whatever and then up here I wanted to put the page number but what I wanted I did not want to type page one page two I wanted to put a page number so that in the next page it will automatically say page three so to do that you go to this section on the left hand side called page number click it and you would have thought that you would have clicked on top of the page and then choose this one because I want the page number here. But if you do that, you will lose the other things you've typed and you will only have the page number. So what you have to do is you go to the option where it says current position and then you choose this any of these styles of page numbers. There are different types. There is also one that will tell you page one of one or two of two. So if I click it, it puts page two of three. Now because I want a different header on page 1, I'll put a check mark in the box that says different first page. So when I do that, now I'm going to close the header and let's see if I scroll up to my page 1. So there is no header here. Now if I want, I can double click here and I can put a different type of a header here from using this option too. So you can enter headers like this too. So I can click here and then I can choose this type of a header or any of the other styles which are available. So if I choose this, now I can put whatever I want and I can choose a date and I can close it. So let's see, this is header 1, this is header 2, now whatever is on page 2 will show up on page 3 also. Just the page number will say page 3 of 3. And if you want you can look at your print preview. And I'm just going to reduce the zoom. So there are my three pages. And I can come back to home. For some reason my screen chat was showing something else. I can click on this arrow, the back arrow on the left hand side, so I can come back to the screen. So this is it when it comes to adding headers and footers. I can even go back to insert and I can click on footer and then I can choose any styles of footer. Or I can go to insert, page numbers and I can just say put it on the bottom of the page if you only want the page number then you can just do that. And you can also format the page numbers if you wanted the numbering system to be different. So 1, 2, 3, you want A, B, C or something like that or a numeral. You can choose that. So I'll just choose page number, bottom of page, and I'll just choose a style of a page number. Say I want the page number in the middle. So I'll just click it. And you see there it is, page 1. I'll close this. 
So let's see if I scroll down. This is page one bottom. This is because you see now again because my pay cursor was on page one, it only put a footer on page one because when I double click here, it says different first page. So whatever I put here doesn't show up on page two. So I'll have to close here. I'll scroll down to page two and then I'll go to insert page number bottom of page and then I'll have to choose this again or I can choose a different style and I can close this so this is page 2 footer and it's there because I only want to put a page number and this is page 3 footer now if I scroll up to page 1 uh, right there page 1 has a different footer so this is the way you add footers now if I wanted to remove the footers or the headers I can double click on it and delete it or I can go back to insert click on page number and I can say remove page numbers so that removes page one let's see if it removed it on page two it's still there so I'll click here on page two and I can say page number remove page numbers so now it's removed it from page two and I believe it should remove it from page three it did and you could always go to header and then you can also say remove header so that would remove it from this page and then I'll have to go back to page 2 and then choose to remove the header on page 2 so while we are on this topic I want to talk to you about how to change the page 3 header say for example for various reason you wanted the page 3 header to be different or for example what I'll do is I'll this is my page 3 I'll click here and I will insert a blank page okay. so now we see when I did that page 4 automatically copied over the header from page 3 so now say for example this was my chapter 2 so I don't want the header to say chapter 1 so if that was the case there are a couple of ways of doing this if you just try to change it from here whatever you type here will show up on page 3 and also page 2 so right now all of these pages are one big section so what you have to do is this is the end of the page here so I have to put like a break here so that whatever is coming after this page will be a new section because right now all the four pages are considered one section and I'll do a separate video for this talking a little bit more about it but as I'm talking about this header I would rather do that so I'll go to page layout and I'll go to the breaks button and for now we're just going to concern ourselves with two different types of breaks one is a continuous break and the other one is called a next page break so when I had inserted the page instead of doing this blank page I would have just inserted a break here whether I want a next page break that means whatever is starting after this line should be on a new page because I want the chapter 2 to start on a new page and a continuous break means I want to put a break but whatever is following it should continue to start typing right underneath here it's just that it will be a separate section so I'm just gonna hit undo so that I'm back to three pages so if you look on the left hand side on the bottom it says three of three and now here I'm gonna go to page layout break and I'll say a next page so when I do that I am on page four and up here I'll just put something like chapter to start or something like that just for now and I scroll up and you'll find that you don't see anything that tells you that there is a break here to see your breaks what you have to do is go to the home button and then press the show and hide button so this button which I talked about in the second video I think I click it now there are my breaks and as you know the dots means there is a space this symbol means that I put that there's a tab used here if I wanted to delete the break I click in front of it and I hit the delete button on the keyboard and the break will be removed so these are hidden elements and for you to see that you have to hit the show and hide button so if I press it again 
it removes it so I'll come back here so now if you look here there is nothing in my page 4 header so I'm gonna click on page 4 and I can just double click on this header here and what you have to do is before you start doing something there is a button here that says link to previous you have to turn it off so that whatever I put here doesn't get linked to the previous so right now it is linked so I press it one time now whatever I type here is not going to affect the previous header so now I can go to the header and I can choose a different style and then I can just put whatever I want and then I can say close so let's see this is chapter 2 which is page 4 uh, let's scroll up and the page 3 header is not affected neither is the page 2 header affected so that's a really good way to have control so if you're writing chapters you can keep on inserting the breaks wherever you wanted different headers and wherever you did not want to start a new page break then you just make sure you just start a section break because it just gives you more control over that section within the page so say for example I'll show you an example if I wanted control over this paragraph so I'll click here and I'll insert a continuous break and I'll scroll down here and I'll click at the end here and I'll also insert a continuous break and just to show you what happened I'll go to home turn on the show and hide so there is the break here and break so if I click here now and say I wanted the margins on this to be instead of it being one inch on the left and the right I wanted the margin to be 0 0.5 inches so I can go to page layout click on the margins and then go to custom margins or you can click on the page setup the more button here and then from here it says you see on the bottom it says apply to this section before you would not have had this option because this whole section will be one thing like the whole document type of a thing so now I can reduce the left to 0 0.5 and the right to 0 0.5 and I'll click OK and now you see the difference this margin is 0 0.5 and then when I click here this is one inch margin on the left and the right so this is another idea which I'll explore a little bit more later. Now while we are on the topic of inserting, so in the insert, you can also insert comments. So say for example, I wanted to highlight this and then insert a comment on it. So I click it and you see on the right hand side it started adding this and I can type my comment here. So this is something where other people can also come and use like a collaboration where they can leave notes for each other. And there it is. If I want to delete it, I can right click. I need to properly right click, right click, and there is the delete option. If I want now, I can go to home, turn off the show and hide button. And in the insert tab, you'll also find this option called text box. So this is just a nice little thing that you can add to any document. So say I wanted to add like a side section to this document. I can click it. And now here I can type something here. I'll just reduce the zoom to show you what it looks like. So you get a better idea of this. So you see there it is. So it's a nice little way to arrange this. And the other pages don't have it. It's only on this can increase the zoom again and there are lots of other options that you get as a result of that I can choose how I want this section to work with my text I can even make it behind text which will not make much sense in this case but there's also other options for formatting and if you don't want it you can delete that so that's under insert and there are other options like text boxes you can add it like this and you can put whatever text you want in it and it just makes your document look better in some places you may prefer to have that 
there is an option to choose drop caps so if I click next to C I can click on the drop cap and then just choose it like this so you see the C changing or I can have it in the margin like that so usually in the start of a document at the first word I can make it drop cap like this you also have an option to insert word art so there are different styles you can choose something and then so there it is and I can type something in its place and then I can choose how the text the word art should work around it so I can say work around that so if I move this in the middle now you see the words are moving around it because I choose that type of a wrap text now you have different tools for it here you can change the styles to put out whatever you want you can change the colors to whatever you prefer and there are also changes that you can make to the word art style itself and then you can look into it you'll find that there's a lot of other options shape effects reflections the text direction that you want things to be at the position so there's a whole bunch of things you can do and if you don't want it again you can just delete it and I can also change the shapes of it by going to edit shape change shape and I can choose something else like a heart shape and I can just go to the corner and make it a little bigger it's always best to go to the corners to make it big rather than going sideways because then the proportions are not good so I can click here and I can choose delete to remove it so that's under insert word art you can also insert hyperlinks hyperlinks are you know when you have www.google.com or whatever website so say for example I want them to go to some websites when they click on this link so I can highlight it I can insert a hyperlink and then up here I can copy and paste the web address or I can just type www.google.ca and then click OK so now you see it's like a hyperlink so you can hold the control button and you click it and it will take you to that website so you see when you point to it, it tells you hold the control and then click on the link to follow it I can always right click on it and I can remove the hyperlink or I can even edit it I can remove it now there is also an option called bookmark so say for example I'm going to scroll down and I'll highlight this and I'll make it a bookmark so I'll highlight this and I'll add a bookmark and I'll say chapter to start so that's the name of the bookmark and I'll click add so that bookmark is added and now say for example from here I wanted them to skip to the chapter 2 so if I want I can highlight this go to hyperlink insert hyperlink and then from this left hand corner I'll choose the option place in this document and then there is the bookmarks option and there are two different bookmarks I can click on this one and I click OK so now that's a bookmark so if I hold the control key and I click it it takes me to that chapter to start or wherever the bookmark is so that's the idea of bookmark so you create one and then you add the bookmark through the hyperlink and as usual whenever you point to it it will give you an explanation as to how to go about it select the content insert the bookmark and then add a hyperlink and you can always read more about it so this finishes up most of the important buttons under the insert and we talked about in this video how to insert headers and footers and page numbers and have different headers on different pages or different sections and also how to add comments, hyperlinks, bookmarks, how to insert text boxes and also word art and drop cap. Thank you for watching.